player, seven days to die with <laughs> Silver Blade. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it, son of a ouch. You must remember to work. Uh... 88 miles power! Don't you feel foolish? <laughs> Greetings, minions, survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade playing Seven Days to Die, Alpha 15.2. And this is episode number 96. And uh, last episode, we were just taking on the first layers of the Red Mesa missile base. And uh, I went through already, and I sorted out my inventory. Uh, basically, put the stuff with a quality level in one box and the stackable stuff in another and then we have a third for like the overflow and then I just made my way back inside to the last place where things um, you know are different where uh, we hadn't been able to explore next which means down in there uh, I just came from over this way and that's all the uh, equipment office furniture and the like that we've already seen so we're gonna come down another level Loot all this goodness. Mm, nitrates. So I don't see anything on these those catwalks. Oh, there's a room over here. Let's see. Yeah. Alright, stairwell will Hmm. Have I been in here? No, I have not. Okay. Didn't think I have, but everything's starting to look the same to me. Which is not exactly good if you don't want to get, get lost. Okay, so we have a walled-off door. There's one of two reasons for this. One, there's really good shit back there, or there's really bad shit back there. Hey, surprise. Good stuff and calipers. I can dig it. Eh. Scrap metal forever, baby. Cheer bits forever, baby. <laughs> check this stuff out kind of going around in circles now okay so there's nothing I'm missing just kind of lighten up the uh, inventory load here a little bit Okay, so we'll go left, right, I guess. Alright, we just stay confined to this main room. For now. Looks like we got us a little kitchenette here. Oh, 
whole lot of nothing. And inventory is getting full yet again. Not exactly a bad thing, but it just keeps making me have to go up top side. I'm not really relishing that. Chop, chop, chop. Huh, I thought there would have been some shamway in there. Wow, a whole lot of nothing. Great. Alright, well, we can get rid of the wood. Not too worried about the cotton. We can scrap that. Chuck the paper. Scrap these. And I'm freezing, so we'll wear that. Don't need the glass. Alright. So we'll cycle around this way. Missing floor tile, huh? Back where we started from. Now, is there? Any, I think there's. A, there was a room that went off to one side, right? Cycle around this way. Yeah, it just loops around and down. Okay. So we checked out this whole area. Let's see what's over yonder. Of course, pick up wood that I don't want. <laughs> All right. So this is kind of a dead ender here, kind of like an elevator shaft that doesn't function. So we'll. Mm -mm. I think this is where we came in. So easy to get spun around in here. level for this skill. Oh, joy. Okay, so obviously to get through this we need to tear it up. <coughs> and this leads back to the silo. Alright. So this is like almost ground floor, I think. And of course there's an airdrop when I'm Buried underground. All right. So we were in there. There is this here it leads into that zone. Let's come back around this way, and I'm thinking it's somewhere along the line these two connect. Ooh. Something's got to be sacrificed. Uh, hmm. Yeah, might as well. All 
All right, so my inventory is packed full. Let's uh, see if there's anything that's out here that can stack. So this is the last place to be here, I guess. That is unlocked, and I still tore it down. But you know what? I got scrap iron out of it, so... There. Probably should have done that with all the unlocked doors. Okay, it's like some sort of... Dorm, maybe? Max skill level. Okay, so I think what I'll do... I'm at the point where I'm starting to get an overabundance of of the same stuff or stuff that I can make into dukes. Let's see, you find a way to get up and out. And it just loops back around. Shit. Do not fall down the shaft. Okay. Let me get back to the missile silo part. Which I am, like, doing the absolute opposite of. Alright. There's that one ladder right there that goes practically all the way up. Should have an ex exit out this way. Somewhere. Here we go. Yeah, it's more like it. Just gotta get used to the floor plan is all. Alright, let's dump off the non-stackable. Apparently calipers don't stack, so... And they're unique enough that might as well throw them in there. Okay. So we'll make our way back into the silo. And if I can get over the, the hump... Let's see what... Yeah, right through here. Excellent. We'll get to the ladder. All the way down to the bottom. And then back through this way, and we are back on track. So far, so good. Yay, vitamins! Gonna have to get some water some at some point here. Surprised I didn't find any in the in the um, kitchen. Uh, not, not collecting stool samples. Getting lots of gunpowder out of the trash, that's cool. Okay, so all of these rooms have been checked out. 
Um, okay. And I'm full on inventory again. Okay, I don't need the paper. Well, actually, wait. There we go. Don't need the feathers either. Mm. I don't need the wood or the paper. Didn't need the glass. But I will take the fertilizer. I think this is like the last spot to check out. Or maybe not. I don't know. Getting kind of spun around here, you know? Mm. Trying to think here. I could use almost all this except for that. And that. And then what we can do is make a bunch of duct tape to get the dukes. So I think that's everything here. Make sure I got everything. Alrighty, let's see. So that's back inside there. Let's go up the stairway. Okay. So I think we've got. I think we've we've explored the entire place. Or maybe not. Let me... Let me be glad that I didn't jump on that. <laughs> wow. Okay, so that wasn't exactly ideal, but it worked. <laughs> and I did it without breaking something that was useful to me, like my legs or something. And I am getting some good scrap metal out of all this. kind of thought that maybe I can ladder up there. Well, let's see. I guess. Okay, so this is... Oh, okay. 
This takes us right up to the garage area, I think. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Um, let's go back inside and up a level. And we'll dump off the goods and uh, start working on those cars, I guess. Because I, I need to get an engine, at least. Uh, let's see, come over here. There we are. I know where I'm at. I thought this place was a lot bigger, to be honest with you. But it's big enough. Oops. But check it all this glorious loot. Hell, got two rocket launchers out of the whole deal. <laughs> So we'll make our way down to the garage and we'll tear up those cars and hopefully get an engine out of the process. Get in there. Let's see, I think I'm taking a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah. There we go. And I'm overheating when it wasn't too long ago when I swapped out from being frozen to death. Ah, game, make up your mind. Hello. I didn't see you there previously. Okay, anything else? Or how much scrap I can get out of these? Uh, you don't get them for... Wow. 10,000. <laughs> but I'm not getting any metal out of it, so it's kind of pointless. Otherwise, I'd be like... Let's beat this shit out of this stuff. Alright, well, let's... Go dump off what we just picked up. Hey, I got a motor suite, and I can combine that with the one in my mini bike to make a 600 engine, I think. Friggin' awesome. <coughs> and he's thirsty. Of course he's thirsty. Let's go out and look for some yuca. Oh, I need some tires, too, while I'm out here. Oh, didn't get any there. Eggs. Alright, there should be some tires out here on the road. So just kind of snoop around here get yucca and then I got jars back in my my inventory tear this up chickens buying the farm e i e i o Oh, 
Well, I thought I'd come across a chicken laying next to a cactus, but I'm not seeing it. And there's a tire. Or not. Or not. <laughs> if I keep going that way, I'm going to be in the irradiated zone. Where I'll glow in the dark, which sounds cool, but trust me, it's not. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's. That's wasteland. I can go out there if I wanted. And it's south of here going down that road that I'd end up with troubles. <laughs> Boop. I see poochums. Crap. Hee <laughs> hee. We're gonna bug out. It's getting about that time, anyways, and I think I got plenty of yucca to make some yucca juice. I just need to get back to my jars so I can get back to being hydrated. And I need these eggs for bacon and eggs. So I figure while I'm out here, I might as well be grabbing them. Always looking for items of opportunity. dump off all of this. Pick up these. Yucca juice. Yucca. Yucca. Come on, I need more. <laughs> It's more like it. Can I make it anymore? Nope. Okay, so we're good there. We've totally explorated the place. One thing I'm wondering about is can you take apart the missiles? That would be interesting. I might have to try that sometime. But not this time. So I think probably what I'll end up doing is uh, ending the episode here. We got an airdrop to deal with. And I think there's a few other things that we can do this week. There are a few other, well, there's a few other um, POIs to investigate um, between now and the day 49 Horde. So, yeah. Excuse me a moment. Throat's getting a little dry. So anyways, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Do check out the links in the description box below for my Patreon, for Twitter, for friends of mine and uh, their channels. Do check them out. Let them know Silverblade sent you. And until next time, see you later. Twitch, twitch.